Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel of Ecoholics. So I have made a video on Egan values and Egan vectors. So in this video, we are going to discuss how to get the value, the Egan values and the Egan vectors for any given matrices we have. So if you haven't watched that video yet, please go and watch it and then come here and continue watching this. So when we were talking about Egan vector and Egan value, we know the AX has to be equal to lambda X, where A is my given matrix, X is my Egan vector and lambda is my Egan value. So again, A is a square matrix of order N. So to find Egan values and Egan vectors, these are the steps given here. So this is step number two, this is step number three. So first we work with the characteristic equation to get the Egan values. Now, when we are saying AX is equal to lambda X, it means ki X and X are same. They are identical. So in other words, A and lambda also has to be same. But A is a matrix, lambda is a scalar. So how they can be same? If I multiply lambda with the identity matrix of order, of the same order, which is with A, I can convert lambda into a matrix. So it means the difference of A and lambda should be zero, but they are matrices. The difference means their determinant should be zero. So that is what I'm solving. That is the determinant of, that is the determinant of A minus lambda I n should be equal to zero. We call this thing as characteristic equation. So when you will solve this equation, since A matrix will contain some scalars, some numbers, lambda is a scalar. So when you multiply it with identity, the diagonal elements will become lambda only. So when you will solve it, you will get an equation in terms of lambda only. So if you solve that, you will get one, two values of lambda. So after getting those values of lambda, now solve, we have already solved the characteristic equation to get all the Egan values of A. I have told you over there only. Now, let us say the by, by solving this characteristic equation, we get an Egan value equals to lambda naught. So lambda naught is one of your Egan value. Right? All right. So if lambda naught is the value which we have got from step number two, then solve the system of equations. So now the next task is to get the values of Egan vector. Now there is one thing. From the beginning, we have been saying that AX has to be equal to lambda X. So when I multiply AX, since these are matrices, both of them are matrices, so the resulting will also be a matrix. And lambda x, lambda is a scalar, but x is a vector, uh, an Egan vector. So the resulting will also be matrix. So matrix equals to some sort of matrix. So when I try to take it to the left hand side, I'm going to get a system of equations and this difference should be equal to zero because they are same, they are exactly equal. So this difference should be equal to zero. Now from here, if I do this thing, A minus lambda, I know I cannot subtract lambda from A because lambda is scalar. So I can subtract lambda into I n and X as common. So it's a system of linear equations. So if I solve this, I know what are the values of lambda now because I have solved the characteristic equations. Then I know A, I know lambda. What I don't know is X. So I can easily get the value of X from here. The, this is the only thing which you have to do. So you will be solving A minus lambda naught into X. So this is identity matrix and nothing. Lambda naught is the value you will get in step number two. So you will solve this equation to get the Egan vectors. So this is how you have to solve. So concluding it, very two simple steps which you have to do are, first solve this equation to get Egan values and then solve this system of equations to get your Egan vectors. So by doing these two steps, 
यू कैन फाइंड इगन वेक्टर्स एंड इगन वैल्यूज फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ गिवन मेट्रिस आई होप यू विल फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर वॉचिंग इट